So Rody is another gig company out there. But listen, Rody, if this is what you pay your drivers or your delivery drivers, you ain't going nowhere. You're following in Uber and Lyft's footsteps, right? You're going to be branded the same way. How you distinguish yourself from those two thug companies is to actually pay the drivers. But this is even less than what Uber Eats or, or DoorDash would pay, right? So the area here, Baltimore looks like it. 86 bucks, ladies and gentlemen, 211 miles. Let me repeat that again, right? It's a three hour trip. By the way, the dude has to go all the way back. I'm not surprised he writes, wow. Wow, that's how much you paid me? $86.45 whopping cents for 211 miles. And you drive three hours and 15 minutes to do a complete delivery. And there it says, oh, there it says available gig. Oh, it says available gig. So the guy, <laughs> I don't think that anyone is going to accept Rody's offers when they pay 86 45 for 211 miles. You've got to do better than that, Rody. Otherwise, you're outing yourself. You're going to drown yourself in the first six months. You're not even going to be a legitimate competitor. People are going to laugh at you. So pull up your socks, pull up your pants, directors at Rody, get your act together and start paying your gig workers at least better than that other trash that's out there, right? DoorDash, Uber Eats. I mean, they pay dismal. Right, but for, for, for 211 miles and you got to drive back, I ain't doing that for $86. Not even going to cover my expenses. And in fact, it's a huge negative. Don't take these type of trips and roadie, step it up. Otherwise, you're not going back on the road.